some alternatives. And Lisa says, uh, when does this have to be done? When, when does it have to be completed? And Hasse says, before the end of the day. And Hasse, she stays, he stays here. So Lisa stops sorting emails because uh, he's, he's, he's standing behind her and uh, logs into that website and starts to tries to find these uh, alternatives or these options. Then, the phone rings. Ring. And Lisa answers. Hello? This is Lisa. Hi, this is Berit. And Lisa said, uh, Berit, uh, I'm in the middle of something. Uh, can I call you later? No, you can't. <laughs> okay? Because you remember that email that you sent me like two months ago. Uh, no, what email do you mean? Can I call you later? No, you can't call me later. You know that email with this tarari da da and those dancing and the things, you know? And, and Lisa, she doesn't have a clue of what email uh, uh, she's talking about. So <clears throat> she says, no, I don't know that email, but can I call you later? No, you can't, because I'm just going to a meeting and, you know, that email, I didn't understand anything and I'm sure that they will ask me about those things at the meeting. So can you just brief me a little about the things that you wrote in this email? So Lisa, she has, uh, has said, yeah, but yeah, she tries to find this email, this Tarali email at the same time. Then Bing comes. <laughs> Hi Lisa, can you help me now with the database? <laughs> <laughs> Do you recognize this? Yeah. Have you ex ever experienced something similar? Yeah. yeah. yeah? yeah. 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 This way of thinking is called. Or I can point it. It's called LIFO. Lisa starts there, and whatever happens, she has moved around the start point. She's starting with something new. What's the meaning of LIFO? Last in, first out. Last in, first out. The last, the last activity that appears will be the, the current focus. Okay? Then there's another way to do this. <coughs> and it's like this. You take it uh, at the 20, 31st of December. You take a, a calendar for the next year. And then you write down what you're going to do the 1st of January and the 2nd of January, and 3rd of January, 4th of January, every day until the 31st of December next year. Then you buy a lot of canned food and water, and you, you lock yourself in to a room, and you sit there for one year and complete this plan. This one is called <coughs> Big Plan Up Front. Big Plan Up Front. And usually it's not very successful, but because things happen around you and you learn things, so it's not the best way to complete something. Then there's a third way, and it's incremental. You have time boxes like this, I practiced before, time boxes. <coughs> and you have special occasions here, in here, in here. 
where you can adjust where you are going. So you can have the overview mode. You focus for a while, then you have an overview mode and think, is this the right thing to do or should I do something else? Uh, yeah, maybe I should adjust my direction here, and then here, and here, and one day you will be at the goal. Uh, okay, so now this lecture was called Pomodoro Technique, and now it's, I've been here for one hour, you've been here for one hour, I didn't mention Pomodoro once. That's strange, isn't it? Okay, so Pomodoro uh, comes from an Italian guy that was a student in the 80s in uh, uh, Milan, I think. <coughs> and he uh, went to lectures like this, and uh, half of the people were sleeping, and um, sometimes there was a test, but he hadn't studied, and sometimes he studied, but there, there wasn't a test. So he didn't think that this was very serious, or he, he wanted some kind of process, some method to study. And he went home, and he saw a kitchen timer, like this one, but it was uh, shaped like a tomato. And pomodoro means tomato in Italian. Okay? So, he made a bet with himself. He uh, winded, up, winded the clock up to 10 minutes, and he made a bet. Can I focus on this book? It was some kind of um, university book. For 10 minutes, and nothing else. Do you think that he won? No. no. If you can win when you bet with yourself. But, I don't know. <laughs> but he, he didn't manage, but uh, he formalized this process and uh, he improved it and he started to teach it and he also wrote, uh, wrote down the PDF about it, first in Italian and then in uh, English and that was the one that I found and then yeah, I wrote this book and the book was translated in many languages and so and a lot of people uh, practice this technique in the world, in Japan or Korea or Germany or wherever, US. Yeah, and this was in the 80s and he said he formalized it in 1992 when the first man on the moon was 1969. And now it's 2011, but he knew all that. <clears throat> okay, so Pomodoro. This is one day in Pomodoro. Pomodoro has five stages. The first part, the first stage, so this is, this is the morning. You can think about uh, a person working at the office now. So this is when the person comes to work, and this is when he leaves work at the end of the day. And this process uh, comes every day, beginning and again. So it starts with a plan, plan stage. And the planning stage is where he chooses what to do and in what order, in a special way that I will tell you about soon. Then he, he iterates in this loop during the day. And tracking, this is called the tracking stage. And tracking means that uh, he's collecting some kind of data about how well this is doing, how good he works. He's doing some experiment. He, he decided, or she, that uh, he, he wants to uh, work in another way and is collecting data to see if it's successful. Then, in the end of the day, comes the record, record stage, the process stage, and the visualize stage. And this is like the self inspection that you did before. For the record stage, at the record stage, he takes this data. Uh, that he has collected and saves them somewhere and this doesn't have to be in a database it can be just writing it down on a paper that he is using that he can compare. so he can compare uh, the number that he got today with the number that he got yesterday to see if he, it was an improvement or not it's still, it's still very abstract but I will tell you details so, <coughs> and then there's the process stage we make some kind of processing, some, some calculation, maybe it takes an average of these numbers or uh, some of these numbers or something like that. And then the visualize stage, stage is where it takes this calculated number and tries to present it to himself in a way 
so we can see how to improve for tomorrow, how we can change this process, how we can change the way he's working or reading books or whatever he's doing. So this is an adaptive process. You start with a textbook version and then every day you change the process according to you, your special circumstances. Because every person is different. Some can focus for a long time and some for a short period and we have different kind of activities and we have different kind of environments. For example, some, some people work in a, a landscape and some people work at home and some people work at uh, daycare <coughs> where it's a lot of noise, for example. And the tools here in this technique, the Pomodoro technique, are three papers and these papers are called the To Do Today Sheet, the Activity Inventory and the Record Sheet and the Kitchen Timer and a Pencil. Now, we do going to practice this and there's no singing in this practice. I promise. Take one each. And actually this is two papers, so if you fold it in the middle and tear it like this. So, the first thing in the morning, one, one of these short sheets is called the activity inventory sheet. Do you see that one? The activity inventory sheet is like a traditional to-do to -do list. That's where you put a lot of activities that you think that you should do, but they are not prioritized. You just write them there. When, when you know that you should do something, you write it down, but not, not prioritized. And you, you don't, they are not planned for some day or anything like that. You just write them down and think that this is something that I want to do in the upcoming three to four weeks or something, not life for me, but small things. Okay? This is the activity in the The other paper is called the To Do Today Sheet, the other sheet. The To Do Today Sheet is something that you take a new one every morning. And the first thing you do with the To Do Today Sheet is write the, the date of today. And it's 12th October of 2011. So you write that when it says day. You see that? <coughs> 12th October 2011. And this sheet doesn't have to have these lines. It could be an ordinary, it could be just a paper from the pad, any pad. Okay? And then we write your name. I write Staffan, but you should write your name. And this is one. Um, th this is uh, one way of doing the conditional reflex training. If we write these things every time before we plan, we come in the planning mode in the head. Not the first time, but maybe after two weeks or a month or something. Like that. I mean, write, writing the name and the date before we start planning. Okay. Then we look at the activity inventory sheet, and there are some activities that we want to do. Uh, and then we look at, at that one and think, if I can only complete one activity today, which one do I want to complete? First. The first one. Read pacing article. You should prioritize it, uh, consider its importance. Yeah, exactly. But they are not prioritized at this list. So this is the time when we are prioritizing. Now we're choosing for what we want to do today. What is most important today from this list? Okay, thanks, letters. Right, Tessa. Yeah, put dates there. Yeah, yeah there are dates there. What, what does the date mean, do you think? The date of the day. The date of the day. When somebody says her to read pacing article. Yeah, either it could be the deadline, yeah. or it could be like a stamp date, uh, the date that we discovered that we need to do these things. Uh, both these days are valuable to have here because some activities if you write